Today I want to show you how you can create LODs for the Unreal Engine 4 in 3ds Max. So first of all create a base mesh like this one here. Then duplicate it. Like this. So that you have two meshes now. Now select one of them. And there we have to decrease the number of vertices. So either you do that with a script. So then you have to go to Max Script and Run Script. For example I have a LOD script on my PC but I won't use it now. Or you do it with a Pro Optimizer tool. Therefore you have to go into the edit mode, at modifier list, you have to click on to yeah, you have to click onto the modifier list, and then you have to type in pro and there you choose the pro optimizer. Now down here you have to click on to calculate and then type in any value that you like. So for example when you type in 30, then it decreases the amount of vertices from 400 to 100. And you can create as many LOD stages as you like. For example, you can type in 70, then make another mesh with 40, and then create another mesh with just 20. But I will leave it at one stage now. Okay, now move all your static meshes to the same position. So we'll go to move, and there we'll change everything to 1. And this one too. Then go to the container, and select both meshes. Then group them, so go to group, group, and OK. And after that go to this little hammer here, the utilities tool, or the utilities window. Go to more. And here you have to search for the level of detail. Then this window should appear, and there you just click on to create new set. And now we have created the LOD set, which we, which we now can import into the Unreal Engine 4. So just go to file, export, and export it. Now go back into the Unreal Engine 4, click on to import and import it. Down here at advanced you have to choose import mesh LODs and click on to import. Now make a double click on it and as you can see here now we have two LODs ch channels. One with 745 vertices and one with 96 vertices. Now up here at outer LOD you can change the the LOD channel which should be displayed in the static mesh editor. So for example now we see LOD level 1 and then I click on the base LOD, we will see the base LOD. Now we can also add different materials to your LOD channels. Just select the material and then assign it to the materials bots here. So this one here and then I will choose yeah, this material to this one here. So let's check it. Yep. Okay. Now at search you should type in auto and here you have to disable the auto compute LOD distances because otherwise it will just use a normal distance where the LOD should be displayed. You can change the normal distance with this little value here but I would recommend you to just disable this here and change the, the distance manually here. So you can change the distance for every LOD channel in their properties. For example here you can change this distance and when you have a second LOD channel, there should be another window where you can also change the distance. So for example, when I type in 300, and then now add the mesh to the level. You can see, now we can see the, the first LOD stage, or the base LOD stage, and we go a little bit far away, we can see the second LOD stage. Okay, sorry. Here we can see the base LOD stage, and here we can see the LOD stage 1. So when we decrease this number, example to 1000. You have to go a little bit far away so that it changes. So I would recommend it to, to use those LODs in nearly every mesh because you can save pretty much performance with that. So just use it because it's pretty simple and it's pretty easy to create. And yeah, thank you for watching and until next time.